मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव एवर डन थिएटर ओवर हियर थिएटर इंकल्केट्स इन आर्स वेरियस स्किल्स यू नो लाइक स्टोरी टेलिंग एडेप्टेबिलिटी आर्किटेक्चर डिसीजन मेकिंग डिजाइन थिंकिंग ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप एम्पथी इमोशनल एक्सप्रेशन इवेंट मैनेजमेंट प्रमोशन मार्केटिंग मल्टीटास्किंग मेमोराइजेशन नेगोसिएशन नेटवर्किंग एंड वॉट नॉट एंड ऑफकोर्स the most popular thing acting it is also used for a lot of professions like engineers doctors architects professors teachers principals entrepreneurs royal highnesses psychologists journalists radio jockeys and what not and of course at the end actors yeah but when we have to go into the realm of theater how is it different than any other theater that we've already done generally when we talk about theater there's a stage there are artists there is a set there are lights there is audience and a lot of fun but today i am here to make you experience what theater is are you all ready to come with me on a realm to theater yes are you all ready for a journey yes to move to a different realm i want all of you to just close your eyes come on just close your eyes without any noise close your eyes and go back to the first day when you had gone to your school at your play play school were you crying were you laughing were you excited to make friends were you nervous to be amongst a lot of people were you missing your parents did you want to go home slowly and gradually you grew up right let's go to first standard second standard third standard We started making friends. We started going with groups. We started playing on the ground. We started playing different games. We started drawing, painting, learning a new language. We started writing. Yes, and then we grew up. And as we grew up, we started studying great subjects like science, SS, mathematics, English, Gujarati, literature, and along with that, sports, arts. And then we grew up. We grew up. We grew up. and then there were the great boards ki beta is saal padhai kar lo agle saal sab chutti ho jayegi <laughs> and then that was followed by another boards where the same dialogue was said that study for this year everything will be fine when you go into the college and then we ended up in engineering <laughs> now go one minute back in your life and when you visualize yourself ask this question are you the same person who you were when you started going to the school no right we changed we changed exactly like the characters have their own definition in different plays and movies yes but did we control the changes on us maybe the situations the circumstances what was given to us brought us to a journey that we are here today theater helps you navigate your life because we are humans and humans are nothing but enlightened emotions everybody here has an emotion whether it is love whether it is friendship whether it is happiness whether it is sadness whether it is ego everything is an emotion right and when we talk about emotions what better tool do we have than theater to get a control over it theater is not just a life skill it's not just a profession you know what theater actually is theater is your best friend what do we expect out of our best friend that it understands you right it stays with you when you need it it will always be with you to tell you what is right and what is wrong right it will always stand by your side irrespective if the world is with you or it is against you yes my friends when you start doing theater you realize that it gives a perfect tick mark in all these sections and not just these it does not only help you understand you but it also helps you understand others how many of you you love to read books great and how many of you here love to read people 
tell me one thing. What if I told you? It would be much, much, much easier for you if you did theatre. Every person right here in front of you is going to be an open book. Because opening a book and reading is, is much an easy task. But when you want to read a person, you have to break through. You have to see their emotional blockages that they have. You need to know their stories. You need to penetrate into their lives and then understand them from the core. And that is what makes it a difficult task. Yes? yes. And do we always necessarily read the person in the right way? That happens. Well, I have a story to share with you of one such engineers like you. This engineer guy, like most of the engineers, never wanted to do engineering. <laughs> and to his record, all the eight semesters, there was not a single semester where he did not fluke. Each semester, minimum one backlog to maximum four backlogs. That was the range that in which he operated. Somehow he thought, okay, I want to quit engineering. I don't know what I want to do with life, but I don't want to do engineering, that is for sure. And he had nobody. Because while he was sitting in the class, in the last bench, instead of listening to the professor who's teaching a Fourier theorem, what he's doing is he's scratching in his back of the notebook and writing some poetry, writing something down, just so that he can be confined to his own self. He was sometimes thrown out of the class, sometimes asked to leave the class, but he somehow managed to sear through. Whenever there used to be these cultural fairs, annual fairs like you have Prakash, right? Those were the times when he used to feel alive. And again, it used to, once the event is over, he used to come back to that monotonous class, sit down at the last bench and start scribbling again. One fine day when he got his engineering done, he was like, Bus, now I'll do anything but engineering. But life, <laughs> life is not over at engineering. You need to get placed, right? So fortunately, unfortunately, he got placed. And the worst thing is that while you get placed, there are no annual precursions that happen there. There are no youth festivals that happen there where you can go and do some artwork. Slowly and gradually, he started losing touch with his theater. And one fine day when he was about to quit his job, he was mentally shattered. He decided he would just quit, he would leave everything and go. He would maybe go in the jungles, he would go in the mountains. He doesn't know where he wants to go, but he went. And he received a call out of the blues from somebody and asked, uh, Bro, you used to do theater in your college, right? Would you do a play for us? He thought, let me give it a try. It's been almost two years now. Let me just see if, uh, you know, this theater thing is going to work out for me. Because as such, anybody who wants to be an actor over here or a stand-up or a writer has this, huh? Paisa kitna milega? So making a career in it is, was not an easy task. But okay, how can it help me? He just started doing it for no reason. And slowly and gradually, he made theater his best friend. It helped him resolve a lot of issues that were going on in his company. He learned a lot of skills. He knew now how to negotiate his salary. He knew how to convince the boss to give him a raise. And slowly and gradually, while he was doing theater and his corporate, theater and his corporate, theater and his corporate, he slowly and gradually managed to climb the ladder of corporate success. And from a management trainee, within a span of five years, he turned out to be a digital director of a multinational company. All with the help of theater. And that engineer is none else but me. But, 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 I have a confession to make. I am no more friends with theater. There was this one fine day when I was doing my regular job, typing the IoT stuff, making blogs on the website, and I fell ill. I had fever. I was like, okay, we'll take a crocin, combi film, and well, you know, fever doesn't touch you much. Two days and it's all over. But it continued for a week, 15 days. And on the 15th day, I was too sick. I started getting electric chills all over the body and I was not in a good shape. I was rushed immediately to the hospital. And there my blood pressure had went down to 20 by 30. The normal is 70 by 120. It had shot down to 20 by 30. I had 
done all the things that were necessary to be successful in the corporate life. But that moment when I had blackouts in front of me, I just didn't know what to do. Perhaps it could, that, that could have been my last day. And while I was there and all these people of the medical staff were trying to save me, a couple of lines that I had written somewhere back in my school just came through my mind. I had written a poetry known as A Last Wish. It said, I lived my life with lots of love and now it comes to an end. I have thought a lot about salvation, but I know I am now be dead. And that was the exact moment when I thought that, okay, I think it's time to give up. I don't think I have a future anymore. But then, a line of the same poem struck me. That life went on and I went on with my goals all complete. I reached the top, being a star from flop, and gave my life a retreat. But, but... But when my life is on to death, I feel I do have none. Though I had career, stocks, wealth and money, and all my work was done. A last wish, I said finally. I want to meet that one. Without whom, though I have everything, I feel I do have none. My sight was fading down. There was a blackout right in front of me. These lines were just going on in my mind. Feeling I have got nothing to do in life. I could not do anything that I wanted. And while my sight was fading, I saw a ray of light. I saw a hand coming, holding my hand, bringing it up. And when the lights appear, I saw a mask on the theatrical stage. And I realized that at this moment, I'm no more friends with theatre because today I realize I have fallen in love with it. And since that day, and since that day, I realized that theatre as a best friend can always be with you. But theatre as your date can give you a different perspective to live your life. Theatre generally is associated with people who come on this stage and perform. That is what your best friend theatre will teach you. But your day theatre will teach you that theatre is not only about giving the right performance. It is also about receiving the right performance. It is also about watching the performances of life. Dating theatre helped me realise, sir, that today, while you are there and I am here, both of us, in the same category. The only difference is when I am performing here, you are the right people to watch me and when I'll be sitting here, I would be the right person to observe you. The day this border between the stage and the audience starts vanishing, you realize that theater is the thing that you want. How many of you have dated somebody someone at any point of time? Yes? Oh, engineers. <laughs> well, in that case, now you know whom to date. Because trust me on this, a loaded heart that's filled with pain, it always wants to vent out. It triggers a smoke in hand or curses in your mouth. When you reach at a pinnacle, but you have nobody to give a call, at that time you feel, I just want to jump off this cliff and fall. Or maybe you may have great friends and they are all around. But you may be someone who likes to listen to the silence in the sound. In all these phases of your life, you need someone till end. I've got somebody whom you can make your best friend. It's dramatics who's not gonna judge you. To it, you can go and share. It will tell you, do what you love. Doesn't matter what anybody cares. And one fine day, when you are ready to meet the great creator, that is the moment, my friends, when you leave friendship and you start dating theater.
Thank you. That was my time. Explore yourself, be who you are, and do what you love. Thank you, thank you very much.